Well, this is a really fucking short battle, isn't it? What did five and a half minutes? Wow. Um, this is a battle against someone called Life Said No, and I can't. I, I literally have no idea where any of these battles have been. Some people have been painting my house like for the last week so I haven't really had much chance to narrate so I've completely forgotten what's happening what's going on what these battles entail so hopefully my usual shit of I remember the really really unimportant things will kick in and I'll remember what's going on oh I remember now see it's it's like clockwork yeah I'm using my um the first sort of well planned out team because I was getting so pissed off with the fact that I couldn't come up with anything so I'm going to lead off with um good old Crustle good old buddy, because he's such a legend. And um, we're having a Stealth Rocks and Spikes War against a Scarberry. So yeah, this, this'll this end well, because you know, he can't just well win me out. Um, he's going to go Bray Bird here, I guess just wanting to break the Sash, and I really don't care. I'm just going to go all out entries, just because you know, I'd rather have them up. But at the end of the day, I think I have it. I you know I have a Starmie as well, so I don't really see why he's going like balls to the wall for entry hazards. But oh well, I'm not gonna moan about it. I mean, I can rapid spin them at the drop of a hat, so he can do whatever he wants. He can waste his time. But now he's gonna switch into this Landorus, and I'm thinking, oh well, um, I think this thing will stone edge, and I am confident that Crustle will live. So I will counter because Crustle is a champ. And as you see, he goes Stone Edge, and oh, oh, what's that? Oh, Crustle completely tanks it, counters, and um, yeah, so that's all of my layers of entry hazards, and a free kill on a Landorus. Yeah, uh, Crustle's a beast, alright? You don't, you don't need any more convincing than that. Now, here comes this Gastrodon, and I'm fairly confident I can actually take a Scald or whatever, so I'm just going to X as a here, get a bit of damage. He is going to go for a Scald, and um, it, I don't take it, unfortunately. But still, Crustle did its job, got half damage on a Gastrodon, and took out a Landorus. That, that is pretty beastly from a Pokemon that has pretty much no planning around it. But now I can just bring in Starmie, and I can just rapid spin, and I can get rid of everything. But I am going to reflect type, because Gastrodon's actually got pretty solid typing. You know, just it's a lot better than Water Psychic, because the only thing that's really going to fuck it over is Grass. However, I don't remember what his team was, so if he has anything with Grass, then that was quite a stupid decision. But the Gastrodon is forced to recover. He is going to switch out, and he is going to go into the Celebi. Why the hell did I reflect type dead? Oh well, I can rapid spin now, so whatever. I'm not going to be taking any more um, entry hazard damage. I suppose it does force the Gaston to switch anyway, so it isn't that bad of a decision, but it does sort of force me. No, 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 it's actually, well, decently smart, kind of. Alright, now I'm going to go into Salamence, and he's going to go for a Giga Drain, and Salamence takes that, because, yeah, Salamence, what, what, what do you. Why am I even trying to explain this? Now, I'm just going to go DD here, because I'm fairly confident, unless it has Hidden Power Ice, I'm good to go. And he doesn't have Hidden Power Ice, so, yeah, I'm good. And that Psychic actually does a shit ton. I did not expect it to do that much. And now he's going to switch out, and he's going to go into Skarmory as I go Fire Blast. Oh, yes. Get out of it, you stupid metal bird thing. Ah, oh, I see why it's so short. Yeah, I think I'm just going to sweep from here. I mean, like I say, I've been getting really pissed off because I haven't been able to come up with a team for shit, so... Yeah, I've had a couple of matches like that. But, um... I was a bit worried here that the um, the Dragon Rush wouldn't kill the Gastro, but Salamence is just so powerful at 1 DD. It's ridiculous, and I only have about 40 EVs of attack invested, so... There you go, people. The power of Wildland Salamence. In comes the Infernape, but oh, what what am I going to do to that? I was actually debating between um, Stone Edge and Dragon Rush, but I'm um, in a pretty confident mood here. <sighs> what am I going to do? I think he goes Mac Punch, actually, which is quite a valiant attempt to get somewhere, but Mence is just bulky. Dragon Rush, it dies. Yeah, you know the drill. Anyway, sorry for the incredibly short battle. I didn't realize it was this short. I'm just trying to narrate these and get through these fucking battles because I do actually have a new team. Just need to get through these battles before I get to it. 
Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later after, you know, some salamence sweepage. Alright, peace.